Morning guys, I just wanted to give you an update on the current project that I'm doing, the AMT Chevrolet Bison semi-tractor. And as you can see here, I got a lot done since the uh, first video that I did. Um, so let's start with the interior. This is the interior of the Chevrolet Bison. As you can see, I um, gave it a black uh, floorboard, you know, the rubbery black kind. Uh, the seats are leather. Um, there's that stick shift there. The, uh, I went for a darker tan interior. Since they had tan interiors, yeah, you can see the pedals down there. Anyway, yeah, I went for a darker tan interior. Um, I used, um, Krylon, um, Gloss Equestrian to achieve this color. And I used the dash decal there. It actually came out pretty well. Um, I decided to put the uh, CB radio up on top of the dash there. I thought it looked good. Uh, you can see the door panel detailing that was done. So, yep, that's the interior. Um, the cab and the sleeper and all look really good. So, yeah, there's the striping and the the um, tags for the different states. So that's the sleeper there. Gotta be careful here. Here's the cab. Still got some work to do, obviously. But, um, yeah, I got the, ah, whatever. I'll have to just re redo that. I knew that was gonna happen. So, yeah, there's the striping. And the, I, I used the uh, Great Plains Sand and Gravel company decals for the doors there's the uh, lube refiner there did, did some work on the uh, firewall still got more to do so yeah that's the that's the cab there and uh, it's looking good and on to the hood right, there's the hood there I gave it uh, my birth year for the uh, fleet uh, the fleet number <laughs> there's the bison Badging. I gave it a black bumper. By the way, uh, what I do want to say about this kit, the hinge system for the hood is really crappy, as you can see. I fought with it and fought with it. It's not the best, but I may have to mess with it some more. So be aware of that. Another thing um, that I had a problem with, I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, yeah, here's a problem. So here's the... Uh, Detroit Diesel 8V71 not a uh, naturally aspirated engine um, one of my radiator hoses is shorter and does not connect to the uh, engine there so that's another problem I had with it there's there's been quite a few little issues that I had with this kit I mean it's not to be surprising it's you know it's AMT so you know, these old kits, they really, I think what they need to do is when they bring these kits back out, I think they need to go through and and re-engineer, you know, fix things. But anyway, so here's the chassis to the truck. As you can see, it came out very well. I'm really happy with it. There's the, the Dayton wheels. There's your battery box. I did some weathering detail on the tanks. I painted the uh, quarter fenders black. This, is a, this isn't a, you know, a looker at all. It's a company truck, so, you know, I wanted it to look very basic. And there's your rear drives. And there's your, um, there's your mud flaps there. I just got those on yesterday. So, yeah, that's the, um, that's the detail underneath. Yeah, there, I did some, uh, road grime and oil staining. On the uh, motor there. Let's see. There's some more detail. I did, that's uh, oil staining from spilling oil, adding it to the engine. <laughs> but yeah, you see that problem there. Anyway, so that's how the uh, Chevy Bison's coming out. It's coming out pretty well. I'm planning on getting the. I'm planning on getting the uh, in, interior into the cab and going from there. So, that's the uh, 
yeah, a lot of a lot of work has been done. It's looking really good. I think you guys will be impressed with it. So, oh yeah, here's the air cleaner. There's the air cleaner with all its detail. Um, what else? Here's the grill. So, yep. all right, folks. Well, that's what I've been doing with the truck. So, um, stay tuned for the uh, slideshow video when it's done.